Convicted killer Scott Peterson appeared in a Bay Area court today for a hearing in his bid for a new trial. As CBS 8's David Gofferson reports the Los Angeles Innocence Project has made a motion for new DNA testing on evidence in the case. Good morning. We are on the record in the matter of People versus Scott Lee Peterson. Appearing remotely from prison, Scott Peterson answered a couple questions from the judge Tuesday in San Mateo County Superior Court. Mr. Peterson, can you both see and hear the proceedings? Yes, I can. Thank you, Your Honor. And do we have your consent to appear via Zoom this morning? Absolutely, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Peterson was convicted in the 2002 killing of his pregnant wife, Lacey Peterson, and the couple's unborn son, Connor. Their bodies found months later in San Francisco Bay. Defense attorneys from the Los Angeles Innocence Project now claim a burglary at a neighbor's home may be related to Lacey's disappearance. And they want new DNA testing on a mattress inside a burned out van found one mile from Peterson's house in Modesto the day after Lacey went missing on Christmas Eve 2002. Mr. Peterson has two objectives. One is to get the discovery and the DNA testing that we're requesting as soon as we possibly can. The second objective is to protect the integrity of our investigation that is ongoing. The California Supreme Court overturned Peterson's death sentence in 2020. He was resentenced to life in prison without parole. Ultimately, the defense is going to make a motion for a new trial. So they're laying the groundwork right now. Defense attorney Paula Canney is not affiliated with the case. She told reporters outside court the prosecution may order its own DNA testing on the evidence rather than wait for a court order. I mean, that to me is the most practical thing is just do the DNA testing. And then depending on those results, there will be other motions. A hearing is set for May 29th on the motion for DNA testing. Peterson grew up in San Diego and attended the University of San Diego High School. He was arrested in 2003 near Torrey Pines Golf Course. He had dyed his hair blonde and police found $15,000 in cash inside the car he was driving. David Gufferson, CBS 8.